All right, today I'm going to be talking about uh, four things a lot of martial arts, uh, some terms and words that uh, martial artists get uh, use incorrectly, quite often actually. So let's get right into it. The first one is uh, bow staff. You'll hear people say, oh, I got a new bow staff, or I, you know, let's go use the bow staff. So you say, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with bow staff? Well, bow uh, actually translates from the Japanese as staff. So when you say bow staff, you're kind of saying staff staff. You're, you're kind of uh, repeating yourself. So it's not a bow staff, it's just a bow, or it's just a staff. But it's not a bow staff because it's not a staff staff. So that's um, you know a common mistake that a lot of people make for some reason. I've heard really <laughs> excellent people on tournament circuits say that you know, you know I'm, I use bow staff, and uh, these are people that have been competing you know 15, 20 years. So it's kind of crazy, but uh, shows they don't really understand uh, the terminology. But that's what I'm here to do: help educate. Um, in Japan, you'll hear a lot uh, roku shaku bow. Uh, so it kind of means um, Roku is like um, six. Shaku are like sections, sections to the staff. So a it's a unit of measurement and it's close to a foot. So when you say Roku Shaku, it's kind of like saying six feet, but not really. It's actually six Shaku. So it's a six Shaku staff. So it's a staff that's about that tall. And a Hanbo, you'll hear that term for um, one that's about three foot long. And Hanbo actually means like half staff. So you're actually, um, it's just half the size of a regular staff. So, so uh, ideally, yeah, I wouldn't recommend you say um, bow staff. Another one is uh, kiai, kiai or kiop. You know, you're hearing Korean, and people will actually use that as a sound off. They'll go kiai or they'll go kiop or something like that, and they'll yell it. But um, that's just a Japanese term that means like it basically means kind of um, unification of energy or will or uh, the harmony of spirit. So it's bringing all your energy together into a yell, into a voice. Um, it's kind of, I guess, a ki if like, you know, if you hear that, that one of your parents when you were a kid, like yell at you and you can feel the energy coming out, coming from them. It's like, that's almost a ki in a sense. Uh, you can feel the energy coming off of that. And uh, so you don't actually say that word. That's a word expressing something. There's a whole thing called uh, kiai jutsu, which is where you learn uh, different types of yells and different sounds that can cause different effects. And it's nothing hokey. It's just um, yelling. I used to do this uh, to students and then I <laughs> didn't want to give any a heart attack. But I'd walk casually by them. And then all of a sudden when they didn't expect it, I'd just turn and yell really loud in front of them and they'd get really startled. Sometimes it almost fall to the ground and that was my example of a kiai. Like it can freeze you, it can startle you, um, you know, and freeze them in their in their in their position for a second while you do the technique. Um, so kiai is something you do, it's not something you say. And how you the noise you make can vary. So that's what people get wrong with that. Another thing is ray. So in Japanese circles, you hear, you know, Ray, and people will bow, and they'll say, they'll think, they'll think that Ray means bow, but Ray doesn't mean bow. Uh, Ray means kind of like um, respect, respectful attitude, gratitude, um, politeness. It refers to politeness. So it's kind of like when someone says Ray, it's kind of like they're saying like, you know, show respect. So if they said Ray and you shook hands, it wouldn't necessarily be incorrect. You're showing respect to somebody or whatever. So. Um, the bow is an expression of, of Ray, but it, Ray doesn't mean bow. So that's something people get wrong as well. And another thing is sensei, um, a final one that I'll talk about. Sensei, uh, people think, uh, you know, a martial arts teacher is a sensei, uh, you know, and they are. A karate teacher is like a sensei, and they are. But sensei doesn't mean karate teacher, it can mean any teacher, like a school teacher or, um, I've heard religious leaders uh, called sensei. Um, so sen means before, and uh, sei means like uh, born or a life. So it's someone who started in something before you and has more experience in it. Uh, they are, they, and they're kind of in that teacher role, they're a sensei. But it's not specific to martial arts. So you don't have to be in martial arts to be a sensei. So 
that's something people get wrong as well. So bow staff, ki, uh, ray, and sensei. That's kind of a little explanation of some things commonly people get wrong. If you guys can like, share, and subscribe, let's keep the channel going and uh, we'll keep some more things coming out to you guys.